Hello peeps. Today I'm going to work on a cradle board. It's an 8x8 and I'm going to do a bloom with Bertha. If you want to see how I do that, stay tuned. First I'm going to add the pillow paint. with a indigo blue black cell activator and I'll start with a little bit of brown then I'm going to do a little bit of gold table tilt so you'll see me shifting the paint quite often. Then I'm going to do the uh, russet with red blue and nickel azo yellow mixed together. Makes a really pretty red reddish coppery color. Then I'm going to use some Shady Orange by Arteza. By the way, all my colors will be in the video description. So those are all my very earthy colors. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Oyster Bloom, which is Modern Masters Oyster um, color, just to break it up a little bit so dark. Then I'm going to add my turquoise. This is actually fallow green and fallow blue mixed together equal parts. And then to top it off I'm going to use the electric line by Arteza pearlescent line. And that should be enough colors. Here is my indigo blue black cell activator. Got my Bertha. I'm going to put it on high and cool. And here we go. Let's see what develops. Are we still rolling? Okay, good. I'm thinking that I want to do a puff right there in the middle. I've got my handy dandy straw. Just do a little puff there and see what happens. Maybe another little puff right here. And 
find one right here. Okay. Now, this paint here that's falling over the edge, I'm going to take that and cover some of the corners with my spatula. I want to tilt this before I do spin it. However, I'm waiting for it to collect in the center just a little bit more. still not collected in the center but I did want to tilt that just a little bit and just to help it go over the edge while I'm waiting for it to collect I'm gonna go ahead and finger paint the edges with white and look really, really good. So one of the things that I like to do is make sure that weight of the paint is nicely centered. And this is flowing down really well, so I don't think we're going to have a problem with coverage. See how everything is kind of flowing in unison? That's what we want. That tells me it's ready to go ahead and spin. So I'm going to go ahead and start spinning this out. Make sure that you guys can see everything. I'm going to center it and just give it a baby spin. See how it goes. centered on the, the spinner.
That's pretty stunning. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down for a close up and you can see how it looks. All right. Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit so you could get a good look at how it turned out. is that it's so fun this is my own formula of cell activator I use American Floetrol polymin wax and just a drop of silicone with water and I'll have that recipe in the video description I want to thank you for joining me today. If you're a subscriber, thank you so very much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Alright, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now. And as always, wishing you much peace and love.